I was sent this fire pit at no cost for the purpose of this review. So let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box and check it out. All right, so in the box, you're gonna find this fire pit. It is basically a fire pit that breaks down small so you can put it back into a bag and pack it away. So it does come with this really nice bag right over here. That's the storage bag that you'd put it in to carry it. This is the fire ring on the top, the ashtray, and then the two piece fire pit itself. And it comes with, of course, the instruction manual. Now, what's really cool about this one that I've noticed that I haven't seen on other fire pits like this is it tells you how to assemble it properly in the manual. And it's based on these letters, right? So there's a letter A, there's a D in there, there's an F. It tells you all the different parts and it shows you exactly how this thing's supposed to be put together. Cause sadly I have seen even in other videos explaining how to use a fire pit where they've set it up incorrectly. These have to be put together correctly because they're engineered to have proper airflow and create a great fire with that. All right, so just to reinforce what I had just mentioned, so here is the page in the book that goes through all the different letters and shows you how to put this together. And it goes together very nicely. Some important notes are right here, when you put the top part of the fire pit with the bottom part of the fire pit, there is a twist on lock. So be safe, do this right, twist it on, make sure it's in the right order and lock it down. So now I've lifted it up and I tried to pick it up from the top piece here and this is not coming apart. You have to twist it to unlock it to take it apart. It's got built-in legs that's gonna keep it off the ground, yet they fold under to store much smaller. Without further ado, let's get some tinder in there and get this thing lit up. All right, it may be a little hard to see in there, but I started this like I do all my other fire pits. I get some paper and I squish it up underneath the bottom and then I poke it down underneath these little sticks that I start with tinder. This thing took off, no problem. The first thing I do is I let the fire take over, burn down all that tinder to make some ash down there, and then I'll start putting on logs. But so far, I'm extremely happy with how quickly this thing started up with just some cardboard paper that uh, I put underneath that tinder. I mean, look at it. It's not even windy out here, but you can see how the wind is being pulled from the bottom of this and pushing the flame up. I'm gonna let this burn for a little while because it needs to get a good fire inside of it, but just off a of tinder, this thing is going crazy. The lighting process was super easy. Okay, so I gotta be honest with you guys, I think I may have found my new favorite fire pit. The kindlin burned and it burned down really low. I let it burn most of all of the tinder that was in there. Then I went and started putting in pieces of firewood that I've got chopped up and I cut some up small just for fire pits like this. As you can see inside of there, they're small chunks, but I was putting them in there. And as I was putting them in there, it was already starting to build a fire. Yeah, this is me putting the firewood in there and then me getting the camera, turn it on and recording. Just in that amount of time, it built a fire up from basically a small fire with ash at the bottom to this. And it's hot. It's currently 43 degrees in my part of Texas. And I am outside next to this fire pit in flip-flops, shorts, and a t-shirt. So it definitely puts off a good amount of heat and super easy to start. I mean, it's already smokeless. So this is awesome. I mean, when you want to get into a fire pit and you want to get a fire started and get going quickly, this has done exactly that. And look at that. It's just got this awesome, super hot fire already going. I, yeah, I think, uh, I think I found my new favorite. They're definitely engineering these things really nice nowadays. And again, no smoke. This one is getting two very enthusiastic thumbs up from me. I love the fact that it lights quickly. It gets smokeless very quick. Definitely puts off a really nice flame and a really nice amount of heat. All right, so I hope this review was helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you would do that, that really helps us out. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.